Harlequin Harlequin is the best known of the Zanni or comic servant characters from the Italian Commedia dell'arte. The role is traditionally believed to have been introduced by Zanganissa in the late 16th century, was definitively popularized by the Italian actor Tristano Martinelli in Paris in 1584-1585, and became a stock character after Martinelli's death in 1630. The Harlequin is characterized by his checkered costume. His role is that of a light-hearted, nimble, and astute servant, often acting to thwart the plan's office master, and pursuing his own love interest, Columbina, with wit and resourcefulness, often competing with the sterner and melancholic Piero. He later develops into a prototype of the romantic hero. Harlequin inherits his physical agility and his trickster qualities, as well as his name, from a mischievous devil character in medieval passion plays. The Harlequin character first appeared in England early in the 17th century and took center stage in the derived genre of the Harlequinade, developed in the early 18th century by John Rich. As the Harlequinade portion of English dramatic genre pantomime developed, Harlequin was routinely paired with the character Clown. As developed by Joseph Grimaldi around 1800, Clown became the mischievous and brutish foil for the more sophisticated Harlequin, who became more of a romantic character. The most influential such in Victorian England were William Payne and his sons the Payne brothers, the latter active during the 1860s and 1870s. Although the origins of the Harlequin are obscure, there are several theories for how the character came to be. One theory posits that the name is derived from a bird with polychromatic feathers called a harl. Another theory suggests that the name Harlequin is taken from that of a mischievous devil or demon character in popular French passion plays. It originates with an old French term Harlequin. Heliquin, first attested in the 11th century, by the chronicler Orderic Vitalis, who recounts a story of a monk who was pursued by a troop of demons when wandering on the coast of Normandy at night. These demons were led by a masked, club wielding giant and they were known as Familia Harlequin. This medieval French version of the Germanic wild hunt, Mesnid Heliquin, has been connected to the English figure of Hurlisoning. Heliquin was depicted as a black faced emissary of the devil roaming the countryside with a group of demons chasing the damned souls of evil people to help dot the physical appearance of Heliquin offers an explanation for the traditional colors of Harlequin's red and black mask. The name's origin could also be traced to a knight from the 9th century, Heliquin of Boulogne, who died fighting the Normans and originated a legend of devils. Cantos 21 and 22 from Dandy's Inferno There is a devil by the name of Aucino. The similarities between the devil and Dandy's Inferno in the are lacking your more than cosmetic and that the prank-like antics of the devils in the aforementioned antics reflect some carnivalesque aspects. The first known appearance on stage of Heliquin is dated to 1262, the character of a masked and hooded devil in Jeu de la Foyer by Adam de la Halle, and it became a stock character in French passion plays. The reinterpretation of the devil stock character as a Zanni character of the Commedia dell'arte took place in the 16th century in France. Zanganissa, whose troupe is first mentioned in Mantua in the late 1560s, is one of the earliest known actors suggested to have performed the part, although there is little hard evidence to support it. Ganissa performed in France in 1571, and if he did play the part there, he left the field open for an actor to take up the role when he took his troupe to Spain permanently in 1574. Among the earliest depictions of the character are a 1570-1571 Flemish painting in the Museum of Bayou and several woodblock prints probably dating from the 1580s in the Fossard collection, discovered by Agni Beyer in the 1920s among uncatalogued items in the National Museum Stockholm. Tristano Martinelli is the first actor definitely known to have used the name Harlequin for the Secondo Zanni role and he probably first performed the part in France in 1584 and only later brought the character to Italy, where he became known as Arlecchino. The motley costume is sometimes attributed to Martinelli, who wore a linen costume of colorful patches, and a hair tail on his cap to indicate cowardice. Martinelli's Harlequin also had a black leather half mask, a mustache and a pointed beard. He was very successful, even playing at court and becoming a favorite of Henry IV of France, to whom he addressed insolent monologues. Martinelli's great success contributed to the perpetuation of his interpretation of the Zanni role, along with the name of his character, after his death in 1630, among others, by Niccolò Zecca, active circa 1630 in Bologna as well as Turin and Mantua. 
The character was also performed in Paris at the Comédie Italienne in Italian by Giovanni Battista Andreini and Angelo Costantini and in French as Arlequin in the 1660s by, who combined the Zanni types, making his Arlequino witty, neat, and fluent in a croaking voice, which became as traditional as the squawk of punch. The Italians were expelled from France in 1697 for satirizing King Louis XIV's second wife, Madame de Montenot, but returned in 1716, when Tommaso Antonio Vicentini became famous in the part. The rhombus shape of the patches arose by adaptation to the Paris fashion of the 17th century by Bianca Lally. The primary aspect of Arlecchino was his physical agility. He was very nimble and performed the sort of acrobatics the audience expected to see. The character would never perform a simple action when the addition of a cartwheel, somersault, or flip would spice up the movement. Early characteristics of Arlecchino paint the character as a second Zanni servant from northern Italy with the paradoxical attributes of a dim-witted fool and an intelligent trickster. Arlecchino is sometimes referred to as putting on a show of stupidity in a meta-theatrical attempt to create chaos within the play. Physically, Arlecchino is described as wearing a costume covered in irregular patches, a hat outfitted with either a rabbit or fox's tail, and a red and black mask. The mask itself is identified by carbuncles on the forehead, small eyes a snub nose, hollow cheeks, and sometimes bushy brows with facial hair. Arlecchino is often depicted as having a wooden sword hanging from a leather belt on his person. Aside from his acrobatics, Arlecchino is also known for having several specific traits such as and several other techniques. One of the major distinctions of Commedia dell'arte is the use of regional dialects. Arlecchino's speech evolved with the character. Originally speaking in a Bergamo dialect, the character adopted a mixture of French and Italian dialects when the character became more a fixture in French so as to help the performers to connect to the common masses. Various troops and actors would alter his behavior to suit style, personal preferences, or even the particular scenario being performed. He is typically cast as the servant of an enormerato or vecchio much to the detriment of the plans of his master. Arlecchino often had a love interest in the person of Columbina, or in older plays any of the soubrette roles and his lust for her was only superseded by his desire for food and fear of his master. Occasionally, Arlecchino would pursue the Inamorata, though rarely with success, as in the Ricoy Fossard of the 16th century where he is shown trying to woo Donna Lucia for himself by masquerading as a foreign nobleman. He also is known to try to win any given lady for himself if he chances upon anyone else trying to woo her, by interrupting or ridiculing the new competitor. His sexual appetite is essentially immediate and can be applied to any passing woman. Between the 16th and 17th centuries Arlecchino gained some function as a politically aware character. In the Comédie Atlanta Arlecchino would parody French tragedies as well comment on current events. Duchartre lists the following as variations on the Harlequin role. Trivellino or Trivellin. Name is said to mean tattered Amalian. One of the oldest versions of Harlequin. Dating to the 15th century. Costume almost identical to Harlequin's, but had a variation of the 17th century where the triangular patches were replaced with moons, stars, circles, and triangles. In 18th century France, Trivellino was a distinct character from Harlequin. They appeared together in a number of comedies by Pierre de Marivaux, including Lille des Clauves, Truffa, Truffaldine, or Truffaldino. Popular characters with Gazi and Goldoni but said to be best when used for improvisation. By the 18th century was a Bergamasque caricature. Gazzetto. In the 17th century, a variety of anonymous engravings show Gazzetto rollicking, similar to Arlecchino. He wears a fox's brush, a large three-tiered collaret, wide breeches, and a loose jacket tied tightly by a belt. He also dons a neckerchief dropped over the shoulders like a small cape. Gazzetto's mask is characterized with a hooked nose and a mustache. His bat is shaped like a scimitar-esque sword. Zacchino. Character dating to the 15th century. Bagatino. A juggler. Pedro Lino or Barotto. A servant or valet clad in mostly white, created by Giovanni Palacini. 16th century 17th th century 18th th century 19th th century 20th century. The Harlequin character came to England early in the 17th century and took center stage in the derived genre of the Harlequinade, developed in the early 18th century by the Lincoln's Fields Theatre's actor-manager John Rich, who played the role under the name of Lunn. As the Harlequinade portion of English pantomime developed, Harlequin was routinely paired with the character Clown. Two developments in 1800, 
both involving Joseph Grimaldi, greatly changed the pantomime characters. Grimaldi starred as clown in Charles Dibden's 1800 pantomime, Peter Wilkins, or Harlequin in the Flying World at Sadler's Wells Theatre. For this elaborate production, Dibden introduced new costume designs. Clown's costume was garishly colorful, patterned with large diamonds and circles, and fringed with tassels and ruffs, instead of the tatty servant's outfit had had been used for a century. The production was a hit, and the new costume design was copied by others in London. Later the same year, at the Theatre Royal, Drury Lane, in Harlequin Amulet, or, The Magic of Mona. Harlequin was modified to become romantic and mercurial, instead of mischievous, leaving Grimaldi's mischievous and brutish clown as the undisputed agent of chaos, and the foil for the more sophisticated Harlequin, who retained stylized dance poses. The most influential such pair in Victorian England were the Payne brothers, active during the 1860s and 1870s, who contributed to 20th century slapstick comedy. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.